Hey guys and welcome back to Nomoria with me, Stijo. Um last episode we were frantically trying to get these rings made. Oh, and they're made. Oh, look at that. So that we could sell them to this bitch and get ourselves a fucking alpaca. Fucking alpaca. Fucking alpaca. Fucking alpaca. Please don't fuck any alpacas. Poor sapphire ring. Great. 260. One truck. So we've got 30 extra, so what we can do is we can grab um, a single copper ore, which will be 100% pointy SEO. Um, what are we going to do? Uh, we will scroll down here. We will rid ourselves of the pointless hides. Um, Send all of them over and 31 back. No, 64. Actually, not the strawberry seeds. So that's 243. Uh, 148. Send 148 of them over. 59, we'll just keep 100. It's probably an idiotic idea keeping 100, but. Fucking sue me, bitches. Give me eggs. Loads of different stuff here. Um, and worth getting rid of. Uh, not that I'd want to. Uh, if we get rid of another 29 of something. Uh, we can afford to get rid of 29 orange wood logs because we don't use them. Uh, if we do that, we can get our uh, female yak. Which is great! Yay! So it's got our male alpaca and our female yak. Perfect! There we go, so we got everything we wanted off the guy, albeit we spent some stuff that we didn't really want to, but it got done. There we go, perfect! Look at that, and I just need the yak to go over there. And that's just got two fucking mants. Uh, that's just got yaks sorted, alpacas, and emus sorted. So, two mants is dangerous. This could end up in death for a gnome or two. No mind, one mant's fucked. Um, mants have been a lot easier to deal with now that they can suffocate. Sc Scotia, you fucking madman! Scotia bites the mant. Hitting the thorax and crushing the left lung. How you done that? I have no idea. You must have tongues of steel. There was a yak. There was there was a yak beating on that man there. I seen that. Fucking suicidal yak. Oh, man's punching doors. Cherry punched a man in the thorax and crushed his right lung. My God. It seems to be that um, suffocation is like the death in this game like there's some rare chances where you like chop someone's head off but see that still says it's suffocation <laughs> um or you stop their heart like you can crush their heart that's one of the things ah great we just fucking finished fighting and a goblin invasions came with ogres and bronze clad goblins and all sorts and I'm really worried because I feel like someone's going to die. Don't die. I don't want you to die. A goblin's died. Who killed the goblin? Come on. Fucking own up. Bitches. Fucking wheelbarrow's getting f swung about. Uh, Biting goblins. <laughs> Fucking biting goblins. Biting goblins, biting mants. Another goblin's died and one's been spotted apparently. Who killed this goblin? Cherry punching him in the throat. Honestly, I've been receiving the end of one of her punches. You don't want to be there. Another goblin has died. Uh, do, 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 what is it? Cherry punched the goblin, crushing his left lung. Alright, okay. Must have been because I was commenting. She was like, yeah, I'll fucking show you. Kabow! Right, where's the next one? Who was it? Zinnamon to kick in the throat. I'm imagining that more as a stamp than an actual, like, high kick. This ogre's fucked. 
You are fucked, son. You're getting punched about all over the place. Just look at that. Someone's picked up a bloody worn copper sword from somewhere. Oh my god, the life of these ogres are ridiculous. Pause, 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 pause. I want to see how fucked he is. Yeah, he's fucked. It's just fucked. That's what that said there. If you didn't quite catch it, I kind of skipped over it a bit fast, but yeah, it just says this ogre is fucked. Just in lots of different words. Basically, all you need to look at is... Is... Oh. We lost some music. <laughs> that was really strange and unnerving. Basically, all you need to look at is... Is the ogre... Oh! Blind. He's just lost an arm. And someone has picked up the arm and is... No, no, no. They didn't. I thought someone picked up the arm and was bashing him with it. But they hadn't. That's just crazy. It's crazy business. Absolutely mental. And all that stuff will get melted down and hopefully turned into something that the army can use. That should be great. Do, 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 do. Uh, how's this going? Not bad, this place is nearly done. I don't even know what this place is, but it's nearly done. It's great to see that, that you can replace stuff underneath torches. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Yeah, so, this room's getting there. This is probably the... I can't even remember what that room is. I would honestly need to check my, uh, my little spreadsheet that I made. Honestly, couldn't remember. Why is nobody planting in this place? And what the hell is that? Is that grapes? Oh no, it's a clay statue. It's a tiny little clay statue. Oh, it's so cute! Look at it! Ah! 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 Anyway. Right. Now, packers are getting sheared, which is good, because it'll get us cotton. Ah! I found out something very interesting on the uh, subreddit. No, more of a subreddit. That the. What the mattresses are made out of actually affects the um, the price of the rooms. So what I want to do is just... Where's my fucking tailor? He's over here somewhere, isn't he? There he is. Um, 64 bandages. Yes, but I want 64 bandages made out of cotton. And... I would prefer the mattresses to be um, made out of wool, preferably. Hmm. I wonder if you can specify that. Ah, but then I would need to build them separately. What I'm hoping is that if I make the bandages out of cotton, then I'm more likely to have. Holy shit, we've run out of bandages. That is not good. There's plenty of cotton there. Make a fucking bandages, scrub. Um. Yeah, I would much prefer you made the bandages. <laughs> Over anything else that you might be thinking about making. Right. As soon as this gets up and running, we'll be sorted. I would like to see them working on this bloody farm, though. I don't know what the, uh... What's the farmers doing? Sleeping... Crafting items? What the hell? What do farmers craft? We've got agriculture... Oh, farmers do cooking and brewing. Unfortunately, I would prefer cooking and brewing above your workshop. Uh, farming above your cooking and brewing workshop. I mean, the rancher's cooking and brew as well, so... so... I would much prefer that they tended the bloody fields and got things planted than cooking and stuff. God. God! Some of my priorities are probably making things take twice as long. What is this? Oh, that's a cotton farm. I forgot about that. Uh, agriculture farm, let's make this tiny bit bigger as well. Ah, God. Ye gods. Ye gods. Right, so. Oh, wait, I'm still waiting on bloody. 
cotton and wheat and stuff for the mattresses. That's the hold, the big hold ups, the mattresses. Um, all of this is getting done. They must be making the uh, <coughs> the applewood planks pretty damn quickly, uh, just to be able to get this place sorted. <laughs> so f just random little drips and dribs and drabs of things getting done. Plenty of uh, stone and stuff. Sometimes I wish that there was a bit faster than two times speed. Um, yeah, basically it's because there's a lot of waiting around, watching things and seeing what's going to happen. And yeah, man, <laughs> there's fucking botch logs and stuff just sitting there where people have been beat up with them. Oh, look at that! These are all getting planted now. There we go, guys. That's what I'm talking about. It's three years. None of these fucking places should be not planted. It's ridiculous. So many raw resources that we're missing out on because he's decided to make food. Well, there we go, little sandwiches here. Let's see, goblin sandwiches and a loaf of bread. Oh, <laughs> that was me. I was like, ah, what is spotted? And then I realised, no, I just twitched slightly and scroll wheeled. <laughs> Such an imbecile. Uh, what are you making there, buddy? What are you making, Bizzle? Making some nice armour for our gnomes. They've all got their weapons, as far as I can see. Oh no, this one doesn't. Is that an inhibitor? Oh, that's Demp! Is that in? Yeah, it's an inhibitor's training with, with Blaine with no weapons whatsoever, and Blaine's got fucking two. I smell something a bit unfair there, Blaine. Could at least give Inherior one of your one of your weapons. Make a bit of a fair fight, scumlord. Oh well. Hey, this cotton one's getting planted and then they'll transition over to one of the other cottons or the wheat. Which would be good. Ah, I've got another cotton. <laughs> They're just running and picking up the seeds now. Oh that's weird that the uh they like tow the land and then go to get the seed straight away. That's strange. These two guys are obviously a bit faster than this guy. Gaben. They've obviously been farming for a bit longer. Do 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 do. It's <laughs> just two fucking wheelbarrows just sitting there. How's this doing? How he's how he's going guys? I'll just fucking blind you all again by tweaking out. Alright. Kind of want to dig a bit lower. Seems like that place is kind of... Um, no, no, I might dig a bit further. How big is this? 28 by 55. So if we go another 28 by 55, we should be Fine? Yes? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> Screw it. All it'll take is my miners off. Off of whatever they're doing. And they can get down and do that. Gotta get it down and dirty. Um, oh, worth a decent amount. Decent chunk of change there. For a kingdom worth. Uh, these are getting sorted. Yeah, cause that's our main, our main issue is Getting gnomes to stop sleeping for so long. There's only three beds in here, so I'd prefer if these ones got done. Uh, so I can actually finally get rid of this dormitory. So, sorry, that's 6, 12, 18. How many have we got? 23, yes, yeah, so that next line will do it. Because we'll have 24 beds then. And then if we get these two done, we've got another bloody 12 beds available. So, uh, yeah, we'll be able just to decommission this area and turn it into... God knows what, a place for the market traders to go, probably. Make it something fancy. Something fancy. Do, do. Do, do, do. Alright, so the cotton's almost done, and then they'll transition over to the wheat. After that's finished, which will be good. I'm happy that we've finally got all our animals sorted, because that was a pain in the arse, not having them done. 
And I'm glad that my emus are not homosexual. So, <laughs> not like I've got anything against homosexuals. The only problem is homosexuals don't have children. Unless they adopt, but what happened to my voice? <laughs> like, uh, I think I finally went through puberty. Thank God. There we go, so the wheat field's getting done. Bloody clay statue is still sitting there. Perfect. Obviously this isn't, like, this is laid out like crap and it does annoy me that it is laid out like crap, but, uh, ugh. Ugh. It doesn't really matter. Right, that goes up like that. What I want to do is terrain. Remove this ramp here. And remove that ramp. Then build terrain wall out of dirt. Place it there and there. Uh, right. Oh, we'll slowly get that that bit sorted out, so that we can make this a nice square. Hell, I might even bloody terraform this entire mountain and make it into my castle. <laughs> but that is yet to that is yet to happen. So we'll leave that for now. But wouldn't that be badass? This is obviously going to be like all of this area is going to turn into uh, beds for people. So they could, they've all got a nice place to sleep. Now it's right next to the entrance, so that if anything happens, then they have to run through all the beds so that people will wake up. How is our um, apple doing? Mm, not fantastic. Uh, it's alright, we've got five there. And they're working on it. The wheat's getting ploughed and placed. Which is awesome. The mobile trough is full. Nice strawberry seeds we've got. Wads. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's good that the emus eat seeds because it basically means that we're not bothered about... Has this bit been done? Yes. Oh, apart from the building the walls. Then I would like to remove ramp. Hey! Did I say you could save? Inadvertently yes, because I was the one that set up the autosave, but what else? Um, then build a dirt wall here. Ugh, there we go. Agriculture, fell trees. That chunk of trees. <laughs> Build terrain floor. Well, the floor there, and build a wall on top of it. A dirt clump wall. Ah, I can't. I can't set that up yet. Which is mainly annoying. Uh oh. A beetle cocoon has been spotted. That's not good. Holy shit, that reaches deep. That is deep. That is hella deep. Oh, what's that though? <laughs> Fucking beetle cocoons. Wow, that was close. Okay, so I need to build uh, some soil walls down here. That will close that area off, please. 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh fuck. Do I get a feeling that these beetles do a lot of damage? Oh, maybe not. Their fighting skills aren't that good. There's just a shit ton of them. Oh, God. Let's just fucking see how this goes. Hopefully we can get someone down to build a fucking... a wall down here and close off this mine. Oh, Sackrail's died. What I'm going to do is disband all of the militias. Ah, uh, fuck. How are we going to do this? I think that's the only way, that choke point there, is get that built. No, everyone's coming down now. These, uh... Shit. Alright, I'm just gonna have to... Grab everyone back into malicious. I was hoping that I'd be able to get that closed off before anything happened, but unfortunately it doesn't look like it. So, uh... Yeah, we're going to need to militia absolutely everyone here. We've lost one man. One valiant, valiant man. This may be the end of the Kingdom of Tri-Crescent. Unfortunately. We dug too deep. We were too greedy. They even dig too deep. We dug too, too, too across. <laughs> If anyone survives this, good on you guys. Alright. Come on guys, we're gonna need to... Dimp's died, Bravos has died. Mert has died. Fighting on stairs here. And Hidion has died. Grony has died. Not one beetle has died yet. Bezel has died. Jinnamon has died. Blaine has died. Jedrums has died. <gasps> Scotia has died. Ah, oh, God. The beetle Scorch <laughs> Cracker has died. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Rizzo Kicks has died. Hendon has died. A beetle is now known as Morbuck the Stone Beetle. Megzas has died. Uh. No, not my yaks! I just got those yaks! The yaks have died. The, e uh, the emus are dying. Who's left? These two gentlemen. No beetles now known as Morlash the Harboil. Oh my god, these beetles. These legendary beetles. Motherfuckers. Run! <laughs> Run for your lives! Oh god. Psycho has died. But they seem to be ignoring whoever this is. Oh, no. Well done. Oh no, they were, they were killing Ald while he was sleeping. That is horrible. You mean, mean beetles. Ah, oh, I've <laughs> the, the cheek, the fucking cheek, Materia the Sixth was the last, uh, the last survivor who was then slain by the Beetle Scourge. Oh god, Materia the Sixth has now died, and the game has indeed crashed. <laughs> no, the game has crashed under the weight 
of the kingdom of Tricrescent collapsing. Ah, uh, Naboria, something has went wrong. Would you like to send a book report? <laughs> yeah, something has went wrong. The Beatles killed me. Oh my god. Ah, oh. oh, guys, what can I say? The glorious kingdom of Tricrescent was taken down by a, a group of Beatles. Uh, as always, thanks a lot for watching. And um, I don't even know if we'll see you next time. This is a a terrible day. A terrible day where you've just got black screen. And I'm, uh, I've just been upset, you know. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And uh, we might revisit Tricrescent, hopefully, in the future. Sometime. Bye-bye.